Welcome to Chapter 2 of our story, where the Winter Solstice Festival unfolds in a vibrant tapestry of lights and laughter. Amidst the swirling chaos outside, the library stands as a sanctuary. The scent of aged paper and the flickering glow of candles create an atmosphere that feels both sacred and secretive. Here, we find our characters drawn together by the weight of their shared experiences, each grappling with visions that haunt their waking hours. Join us as we delve into their journey, exploring the mysteries that bind them and the secrets that the winter solstice holds. Inside the library, Lila Hartman, Eli Thompson, and Jenna Parker huddle around a heavy oak table. Lila's heart races as she recalls the chilling image of a fire that consumed a family long ago. Across the table, Jenna's fingers tremble slightly as she traces the outline of an old book, her blue eyes reflecting a storm of emotions. Jenna confesses to Lila, her voice barely above a whisper, about the dark secrets connected to her family. Eli, leaning back in his chair, crosses his arms defensively. His skepticism is evident, yet a flicker of curiosity dances in his hazel eyes. The trio is bound by visions and memories that don't belong to them but to their ancestors, tied to the ice sculpture and the fire. From a shadowed corner of the library, Grandma Ruth steps forward, her presence commanding yet gentle. Her eyes sparkle with a knowing that seems to pierce through the veil of time. She speaks of the winter solstice as a time when the past reaches out, a time for reckoning. Her voice is rich with the weight of history, and Lila feels a chill run down her spine. The tension in the room is palpable, a tightrope stretched between belief and doubt. Eli's skepticism clashes with Jenna's revelations, creating a rift that threatens to pull them apart. Grandma Ruth's words hang in the air, urging them to confront the spirits for the sake of the town. The library, with its creaking floors and dusty tomes, feels alive with the weight of their decisions. Outside, the festival continues, laughter and music echoing through the night, blissfully unaware of the storm brewing within the walls of the old building. As the trio exchanges glances, a sense of urgency settles over them. They must confront the spirits, face the past that looms like a specter over their lives. The festival is not just a celebration. It is a reckoning, and they are at the heart of it, teetering on the edge of discovery and despair. What if they are wrong? Eli's voice breaks the silence, but Lila counters with fierce determination, questioning what if the truth is waiting for them to uncover it. 